hey there this is emma and welcome back to this new year 2025 uh, we are starting it with opportunities uh, for undergraduate and it's a good thing uh, with me here i have some undergraduate research fellowship at stanford engineering department you know is in u.s california uh, it's a good thing i've we spice up with some career <laughs> opportunities yeah so if i come across these uh, international outside korea i'll also be uh, updating you guys and as we now dive into the subject of today remember to like comment and subscribe the more you you share the more you like is my video will be pushed to many people uh you may like it some others may like it so let's keep liking and uh you are supporting the this program so this is intentionally and mainly for undergraduate uh, in the field of engineering and they normally take like 30 to 35 uh, undergraduate student uh, globally inclusive uh, for those in us and also they provide like housing meal plan travel stipend and uh, at the end of it all you get a uh, like 5500 uh, usd which is you know it's a good thing and i will encourage uh, you young fellas to grab opportunity try this opportunity as young as you are now and be ex uh, like be exposed to different cultures background and you like you share you will share knowledge in in terms of diversity with uh, different uh, countries you know yes and uh, yeah you can try i know i got this opportunity late but it's not too late you can still start the application now and finish on time because in our channel we know we can do it in one day and finish it at the same day so this is a this application is open and it ends on february 1st and the program will run from june 21st to august 16 this coming summer uh they are given you fashion information session if you want to know about them and also there is application office hours you can conduct them join them visually by that time they also have application uh, information here where the deadline is as i've said february 1st and uh, the application already started at november 1st so it will end on february 1st and these are the document you should prepare all the requirement i've seen the like 18 years you can pause the video and see basically you should not be above like you should be like 18 years like and so and uh the i see they have also quote about gpm make make sure you have a standing gp of three the other information are relevant you can check what they are asking you regarding those in the domestic country like in us those who are outside i think uh, they expect people from the low income uh, families so if you're in that uh, kind of uh, family make sure you apply for this opportunity and they have given like uh, two sites where you can apply there is first one leadership alliance summer research um, early identification program and there's the other one which is stanford surf slide room application portal uh, so those two as we go by i will able to explain to you and in case you have personal history you can submit it at that email this is given here yeah you can submit it there i'm just pinpointing the important information so i would urge you to just read the document slowly understand it better and you can start your application uh they have taught those from ad undocumented students those first generation low-income international applicants are encouraged to use the second application uh, loophole that is stanford surf stanford surf side room application portal so follow the instruction and guideline given in this document 
that's how people like miss out information because you don't follow you don't read well so make sure you read the information well and act appropriately these are the appreciation material you need to prepare we have resume three pages we have academic transcript uh, we have statement of our purpose chat is there nowadays things are simple <laughs> with chat gbt uh, there's two letters of recommendation which is highly recommended and optional uh, personal story statement by this but they strongly encourage don't take things like uh, f- don't take things like if they uh, they say strongly encourage make sure you you have it okay and uh, once you finish you can send them at that uh, particular email and they are also giving you examples this is good they are giving you application resources where you can go and see what others have uh, the format and the way to approach that application statement now you have give, been given clue you just go check what is there you can instruct your gbt to use this as an example you and you key in the your personal information and ChatGPT will do it for you yeah and if you don't want to follow it you can do it on your own you are better than ChatGPT. Yes, so that is the where you apply and I tried to just move one step to show you. As you can see, they are just repeating the same information I've shared with you. Uh, yes, and uh, you just click on apply now and you follow the step till the end. For those who have been following me, you have seen applying things online is quite fast compared to those documents preparing documents sending them yes so you have this opportunity you can give it uh, a trial for those in a uh, department of engineering i guess stem student you can try and uh, engage in this particular field and that's all for today this brings the end of the video and see you on other clip bye